I thought I'd make a quick little video of this. Down here what I have is an APC. Now I thought that it was a bank UPS CS700, but it looks like it says 500 on it. You can see that the second light down below is on, and that is the on battery light. But yet it's plugged in over there. If I stick my hand down here, and I hit the power switch, it doesn't do anything. Maybe you have to press and hold it? It's still not doing anything. Did I crash the UPS? Now, I gave $7 for that thing. Actually, I'm sorry, it was $8. It was $7.99. Um, and anticipated not doing a battery replacement in it because I thought the battery was good because it powered up and passed a self-test. And I unplugged it and it, it ran with a load attached to it. So, didn't think I needed to replace the battery. Well, that was probably not a safe assumption to make. What happens if I unplug it? What does it do? Absolutely nothing. It's worth noting that the load attached to it is dropped. So, except that is powered up and that is plugged into the same UPS. Do I have everything plugged in correctly? Okay, uh, yes, this is a CS500. Let's pull the battery cover off, if I can pull the battery cover off. Oh yeah, there's expansion going on in the battery. I'm gonna have to unplug the battery. Don't have a choice on that. But it does mean I'm gonna have to get that out of there, and I'd rather not do it while it's sitting on my chair. It's also live. So, let me... Let me pause this for a minute. Okay, well, that seems to be the only point of distress on the entire battery. It is cracked, but the bright side is that there doesn't seem to be any acid anywhere. I don't think this is the original battery. It's not. There's no UP APC logo on it or anything. I can't date it because it doesn't look like there's a date on it either, unless that's it, 140613, which could mean 2013 or 2014. Not a bad life, I don't think. Especially for one of these, which is probably grossly overloaded. It's shut down now. So I don't know if it'll actually run without a battery in it. Because it's going to have to until I can replace this. Which might be now. I don't know. I could probably go onto Amazon and order a battery. But I got a couple UPSs I need batteries for. This one needs a battery. And that one needs a battery too. So. I don't know. I really don't know. And I got a smart UPS sitting at work that also needs a battery on top of that. So anyway, I got to get this out of here because this is not safe. And I can only imagine that's going to actually get worse. But I still, I'm, I'm bewildered at the fact that that caused the UPS to crash, basically. And speaking of things crashing or not working properly. This is a Philips 190SW monitor that I've got sitting on this side of the room hooked up to the SLI machine. And as you can see, the backlight's off, the display is off, and the green light is on. And what's more, or at least what it was doing earlier, I don't know if it's still doing this, I can't turn it off. It won't do anything. So I don't know what happened there. It happened when I turned the computer off. So I don't know if turning the machine back on again is gonna make it work. And I need two hands to do this because the front face plate is kind of broken. Like that, so now I'm gonna fix that. And I know this monitor has got capacitor trouble, but it's gone to sleep before, so I don't know what that's all about. Oh, now it's completely broken. Huh. <laughs> what happened? Wow. So... Let me unplug it and see what that does. 
Now, other than the fact that it's flashing on and off like that, which I'm pretty sure is a result of bad caps, I unplugged it, plugged it back in, turned off just fine, shut the computer down, because I don't need it to be on, entering sleep mode, and did it properly. So I have no idea what that was all about. Okay, so now that it's been a little while, I did go ahead and finally get the battery the replacement for that UPS. Well, actually, I should correct it by saying it's still not the right battery. This was a job and a half, and I am not about to go back after all of the rigmarole. And I complained to them that they still gave me the wrong battery. It's got the right terminals, it's a 12 volt sealed lead acid battery, so you know what? Hopefully, the charger will work with a significantly larger. Oh, okay. We're going from a 7.5 amp hour to a 9 amp hour battery, so it's probably not really that big of a deal. And honestly, since they gave me a bigger battery, I'm not going to complain anyway. But it does mean that I have to actually put it in the UPS and see if it actually still works. If not, I guess it's going to be going into that one. Okay, pretty easy process. Don't be surprised when it sparks, it's normal. Uh, but it hasn't done anything silly yet, so I guess now the uh, only thing that we can do is to see if it works. So we're going to do something stupid and plug it into this UPS. Uh, it came online. Turns off like it should. Now this thing is a brand new battery, so it might not actually like this. I'm not sure if these bank UPS units need to be calibrated like the smart UPSs do, but I would assume not. So I should be able to unplug this if I can get the cord out and have it switch over to battery. Oh, it would beep if it's on battery. Hmm. Plug it back in. Now it's switched back, so I think the UPS works now. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, I do know that these do require a good battery in order to work. So I guess that makes sense as to why it stopped working in the first place. But uh, there you go. A death in revival. I'm a back UPS, CS500.